Hey YouTube, just wanted to take this uh, short video of my uh, RDK XF6000. Uh, it's the High Country Edition. Uh, a few modifications I've done, if you, any of you guys are interested in it or what have you. So the first accessory I have, as you can see, is this RDK factory cover. It uh, fits really well. There's a strap here, goes between uh, the windshield and the handlebars. Uh, we have a Velcro strap down here. Goes around the front uh, spindles, I guess, or it, yeah, spindle on the upper A arms. And it has two, <coughs> well, it's easier to show this one, I guess, two of these uh, straps that go on side to side, from each side to cover and, and connect. Uh, I've trailered this machine to the west coast in the in the back of my truck and uh, the cover worked really well. Uh, it doesn't flap around much. Um, fits like a glove. It fits how it's supposed to be. I was looking at getting a aftermarket cover for the price of it, but uh, when you spend this much money on a snowmobile, I don't see why you can't spend an extra couple hundred dollars and get get a cover. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on this cover where I bought the cover from where I bought my sled. So <clears throat> I'm not real sure how to edit these videos or, or do much editing with them. This is being recorded on my iPhone. So I'm just going to lay you guys down, uh, take the cover off, and then I'll be back. And then we'll, <clears throat> we'll have a look, I guess, and uh, at other mods I've done to the machine. So let me see if I can't let you guys hear on my bike here. That's not going to work. Let's try this. Very amateur, I know. <laughs> I'm going to roll this cover out, this machine out now and take the cover off. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while. I haven't seen many videos of... There's lots of videos of high countries on there, on YouTube, but... It's not... I'm going kind of a different route with mine than my, almost everybody else does. Cover is very easy to take on and off. Like I said, just a couple of snaps here, these hooks. Okay, there's a better roll this back here. I don't much room here in my small garage. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just getting over a lung infection. So, this is a 2016 High Country 6000. Uh, really like the machine so far. Uh, the reason I want it, I want the big track, two and a quarter inch track. And I like the forward riding style. I like the color. I'm a big orange guy. So some of the things I've added. Uh, I've added these cable ice scratchers. Uh, which do work really well. I leave them down all the time. I put these hooks on here. For uh, when I put this machine in my truck. For the loading ramps. I just put them up like that so they don't hook my ramps. 
she has a two and a quarter inch track uh, surprisingly it is not rough at all it's great on the groom trails and it's great for where I ride so, so it's, it's awesome really uh, this year I added the uh, Articat uh, mid storage uh, tunnel bag which is really nice it's waterproof uh, it goes on with two turnbuckles so I haven't used it I haven't had the machine out since I had it on yet uh, there's lots of storage I got some gloves in there so I built uh, a couple other things there I put an axe in there that's my 2019 trail pass uh, I have this goggle bag which is great. It throws a lot of heat from the engine. Uh, I use it to put my cell phone and wallet in. And I have this windshield bag, which I have my registration. My registration, I usually throw my truck keys in there and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> added this mid height black touring wind stream. Uh, it only come with this small uh, race height windscreen. And let me tell you, look really really nice but what about what a useless windscreen it, it didn't do anything it just all it did was cover the dash here all it did was cover <clears throat> all it did was cover this dash and even with this small bag on the bag was higher than the windscreen like why would anybody uh, i guess it looks good but it's so useless it's not even thing fit so i had that mid height one, I'd rather be warm than, <clears throat> rather be warm than, you know, I think it looks okay. You know, it's not, it's not bad. Uh, I originally I was going to go with the mid-height white windscreen. And I still might yet, not sure. But if I do that, I got to do hand guards. I have a three-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter that go with me a lot. And uh, that windshield works out real nice. Uh, as everybody knows, these high countries, the bars are adjustable. And that's another feature I like about it. And I have these Fox shock guards. Uh, it just looks nice, I think. And with that windshield, I add the mirrors. Like I said, it don't look as good, but my God, it's so much more functional. So she, um, <coughs> machine's a C-Tec 2 600, has 125 horsepower, I do believe, and I think pulls like a freight train to about 100 kilometers an hour. So that's great. It's, it's good on oil. My previous machine was a 2011 Crossfire Limited 800 HO, and she had the two and a quarter inch track as well. I was nervous when I first, first bought this machine that a 600 would not be enough uh, power for me but after riding this engine is very 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 responsive and I love it like I, I do not like the 800 goes you know you can't compare 600 to an 800 but from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour this machine will pick her skis up and go on and 800 will do that as well but the, the biggest difference I found was my 800 at 100 kilometers an hour she'll stretch her legs and then she'll run off Whereas this 600 won't. But for me and what I do, it has plenty of power. Actually, when I get this machine paid for, I'm going to buy a 600 ZR, I guess 6000 ZR for my wife. So I really do like it. Um, <clears throat> future mods I have planned. Uh, I want to get the uh, Pro Mountain front bumper because there's not much protection there. Uh, I also want to do the fourth wheel uh, kit that, that goes back here. So right now you only run on them, them two wheels in there. If one of them wheels fail, you're stranded. Whereas if you got four wheels, well, you know, you got double the chances of getting out. <clears throat> and a clamp on hitch right here for towing a little Pelican sleigh or something like that. Uh, I do have a two up seat kit. Goes there and there is the uh, Kimpex two up seat kit and works real well. <clears throat> it has the Fox float shocks, 
So what I do when I put the two up seat on, I pump the shock up to 200 PSI. It says 150 max, but I've never had a problem with it. For the amount of times that my wife do go with me. But yes, I really, I really do like the machine. Uh, you know, I don't find a big difference in fuel from this, from my 800 to my 600. My 800 was the tried and true Suzuki engine. This is already cat's engine. Fuel economy is about the same. The biggest difference is oil. This will burn half the oil of my old Suzuki. So that's great. And it was a thousand dollars difference from this and an and a 800. So it's nice savings as well. But I, <clears throat> if you're into the bigger horsepower machines, I mean, that's the way to go. But for me, 125 horsepower, something that weighs 500 pounds is plenty. <clears throat> So I, I, I have one season with this machine and I have 1,011 kilometers on it. I'm up here in Canada and I really do enjoy it. I actually can't wait to get it for a ride on it now. I'm getting over a lung infection so I would have had it out by now. We have, I don't know how much snow is. We have enough snow for definitely a ride on the on the, on the roads at least, on the old fire roads. So, but she's ready to go. Gear case oil has been changed. Cleaned the power valves. I adjusted my belt. New ski runners. Uh, and a grease job. So, she's ready to rock and roll. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. And another nice thing about this high country, the seat here is narrow. Uh, right here. So when my kids are on there, it's not so hard on their legs. But I really do like it. Sold my 800 for this uh, this sled and haven't looked back since. Uh, she was the old Crossfire and I did like that machine too. I just wanted something newer, rider forward. Um, new chassis, you know. I'm going to keep this machine for a while and like I said when I get her paid off I'm going to uh, pick up the ZR6000 for my wife. I do like it and uh, I'd recommend this sled to anybody. Uh, like I said it's a 600, pulls like a freight train and uh, I, I love it, I really do. Originally I wanted a backcountry. Uh, 600 E-Tech, but I bought this machine in the winter of 2017 and she's a 2016, so there was a considerable rebate on it, and I couldn't get the same deal on a backcountry. And plus I had this Bombardier Quad, that's kind of other reason why I wanted the backcountry to stick with Bombardier, but I'm after having a few issues with that machine, so I'm glad I got it. This Articat has not given me one ounce of trouble yet. So, but thanks for watching the video guys and uh, any questions just leave in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, this is, I'm very, very extremely, <laughs> I'm a noob to YouTube. I just wanted to put this video out there because when I was looking, all the videos I've seen of the high countries were uh, people going around, they had the small windshields out. And they, I guess using what, what they're for, I, I guess. You know, but there was no real walk around reviews of them or anything like that. Machine handles great on the trails and handles great off trail. Pretty much does everything I wanted to do. And that's why I got it. Uh, I was between this one and a, what's the other one, a cross country 7000. But she was a four stroke. I didn't want a four stroke for the weight and the track was a bit smaller. Uh, this that was the main reason I went with this because she was uh, two stroke uh, she was left over so it was a considerable rebate and she has the nice two and a quarter inch track anyways guys thanks for your time and uh, any questions or comments just leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to get back to you thanks bye